the Taliban claiming responsibility for a rocket attack targeting Defense Secretary James Mattis shortly after landing in Afghanistan overnight. 30 rockets. Pentagon producer Lucas Tomlinson live at the Pentagon. He's been working this story and has brand new details. Uh, Lucas, this is, a, this is a defense secretary that recognizes that sound. Well, that's correct, Brian. If you remember, Defense Secretary Mattis was the first, led the first Marines on the ground shortly after 9-11. But let's get with the breaking news. Moments ago, Fox News has learned the Taliban claimed responsibility for a massive rocket attack at Kabul's International Airport. Forty to 45 rockets and rocket-propelled grenades landed near the passenger terminal just less than two hours after Defense Secretary Jim Mattis arrived with his entourage, which included the press. Now, I'm told that Mattis was in no danger. He'd already left the area aboard a helicopter, and the rocket attack was not near the location where he landed. But still, Brian, it's the same airport and certainly raises a lot of questions about security in Afghanistan 16 years after the 9-11 attacks. Now, Mattis, a day ago, was traveling in India, which might have put the Taliban on some kind of alert. Uh, it was not public that Defense Secretary Mattis would be arriving in Kabul today. He arrived aboard an Air Force C-17 cargo plane along with the uh, NATO Secretary General uh, for a press conference and meetings with Afghanistan's President Ghani. Uh, during a press conference a short time ago, Mattis spoke about the attack. An attack on an international airport anywhere in the world is a criminal act by terrorists. It's designed to go after generally innocent people to make some sort of statement. And it's, this is a classic definition of what the Taliban are up to right now. We will suffocate any hope that Al Qaeda or ISIS, Daesh, Haqqani or the Taliban have of winning by killing. I want to reinforce to the Taliban that the only path to peace and political legitimacy for them is through a negotiated settlement. Now, Secretary Mattis arrived in Kabul just after 11 p.m. Eastern Time, about 7.30 a.m. local. Now, this is the first trip by Defense Secretary Mattis after President Trump announced a new plan for South Asia, for Afghanistan and Pakistan, where 3,000 additional troops would be arriving shortly in Afghanistan to join the more than 11,000 U.S. troops currently there. Now, Already, the, uh, the U.S. Air Force has been stepping up airstrikes in Afghanistan. Uh, there were more airstrikes in August than any month since 2012. Back to you guys. All right. Uh, Lucas Tomlinson, live at the Pentagon with the breaking news. Lucas, thank you very much. Meanwhile, 16 yeah. years later. Can believe that we've been in Afghanistan for 16 years? I, and it's I, still this dangerous? Right. Uh, it's a good point, Abby. I would say this. Uh, they say the rules of engagements have changed. And I saw the, uh, the, uh, a body make that statement over the weekend, uh, last week uh, at the U.N., mm -hmm. saying that it's night and day, the different philosophies under this Secretary of Defense and this mm -hmm. administration. And they are putting more men, but not to do the surge, but to change, uh, to change who we're hunting for and how to protect. Mm -hmm.